And look at the hour candle. My trade. Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Flex and I'll be and be sure to follow me on IG because in today's video, this is going to be episode number two of my trading journal series. Now, in this trader journey series, I'm going to be showing you all exactly the trades that I take, the mistakes I make, the mistakes that I'm trying to prevent, and everything that I do that I like. But in today's video, we are going to be going over, of course, my trade firm today, and we're also going to be going over how to use these right here. What I'm going to be going over is the settings for um, Magic Keys on indexes like NAS 100 and SPX 500, not US 30 because I don't trade it and you know, but I'm going to be showing you my settings so you can be able to know exactly how much you're going to be risking on indices because indices move very fast. The next thing I'm All right, so I hope that was informative because there's not a lot of YouTube videos that go over exactly how to set up magic keys for indices. Again, that's for NAS 100 and SPX 500. Um, I don't personally trade US 30, so I just don't have it for that, but it should work, but don't quote me. Now, I'm going to be going over a error code that I've been getting um, on this new account. In the last video, I told you I have a 50K account that I'm getting ready to start. So. I ended up starting it, but I didn't get off to the start that I wanted to because Magic Keys gave me a error code 4112. Now, if you ever are using your Magic Keys and it's just not working, now you want to, if it's just not working, you want to make sure that your auto trade is on for your MT4, MT5, and then you want to make sure that your DLL settings are on for your Magic Keys. Now, if those are on and it's still not working, go down to the experts and you want to see exactly what the error code is. Now, the error code I'm referring to is error code 4112. That error code basically means that the broker, the server, whatever you want to call it, it just does not let things like magic keys, copiers, it just doesn't let that happen on their broker. So, I'm sitting there pressing, I'm sitting there open trade, open trade, double trade. What the it's a motherfucker. Hey. I'm doing all this and it's just not working and then I ended up getting into a trade because I had FOMO because it was a perfect setup to me in my opinion and I had FOMO I ended up getting in and it was just terrible because I've been using magic keys for a very long time so popping regular lots that was a little bit different from um different for me but I'm starting to get used to it I'm glad I was able to have this first week just to test some things out, see what lots I want to use. But if you happen to get an error code 4112, that means you are on your own. Magic keys cannot help you. So that is that. And the last thing I want to go over about magic keys is when it comes down to entering trades. Now, this is not, this is more of a thing that I don't like about magic keys. The thing I don't like about magic keys is you kind of, you kind of risk a lot. Like if you were to pop a regular lot, you probably wouldn't risk as much. But when you pop magic keys, when you do entries on magic keys, it's like, you know exactly how much you're going to lose. So if you're trading on a percentage basis, you need to make sure that you get that entry correct. Because if you don't get your entry correct, you're done. It's that simple. You are done. All right, now that you have the understanding of how to use magic keys, now we can go over to the trade breakdown. Now, um, I kind of fine tuned my strategy to where I'm taking trades after 10 a.m. The reason I'm taking trades after 10 a.m. is because I want to see how that 8 a.m. and I want to see how that 9 a.m. candle closes, okay? So, this is the 8 a.m. candle right here. This is a doji. A doji signifies indecision. Now, you don't want to take trades when the market is indecisive because you don't want your money to be indecisive. So, um, the good thing about this 8 a.m. candle, though, was that this right here, even though this was a doji, the market ended up closing above a 50% um, 
range of that whole entire candle so that shows me okay yeah there's indecision but at the end of the day the buy the buyers are still present okay but now for the 9 a.m candle close with the 9 30 volume the market literally shows you that the buyers were present the only thing about the buyers being present is that i have a daily resistance at this range right here so when it comes down to the buyers being present you got to understand that okay well um, yeah, the buyers are there, but literally we're in a selling range. And in my first video, um, my first episode for this trading journal, I literally said, I do not believe in no buys. No buys. I don't care. I do not care. I take sales. But um, I wanted to be disciplined today and just understood that, okay, well, this is signifying that the market wants to buy these two candles. So I need to have my buying hat on today. All right. Could have taken a buy earlier, but I wanted to be disciplined. The reason I want to be disciplined is because I find myself having a lot more success trading after I see how those candles close. Now, this was a literally resistance in this area, and then it turned into a support, um, broke through, but then it started to retest in this area and it started to hold. So I could have taken a buy right here and I had my EMA in sync. Could have taken a buy right there and took it all the way up to my um, major levels, but I decided not to because I wanted to remain disciplined. I don't want to get in. I don't want to just be taking trades just to fulfill a, a need to take a trade. I, I don't. I'm, I'm over that stage. So, um, at the end of the day, I told myself, let's go back to the hourly time frame. Let me zoom in so y'all can see it. I told myself since these two candles are buying candles, I wanted to make sure that I'm gonna wait for it to break above my zone, retest my zone, show that it's holding and respecting my zone. Then I'm gonna take it up to um, the highs of the previous day or just, just the highs in general. So that was the trading plan. That was the ideas that I had in my head. And this was at like 9.30 a.m. That was literally the, that, that was my train of thought, all right? Again, I'm waiting for the market to break above and then retest. So let's go to um, this right here. Skip four. All right, now I believe I took a trade right here once I started to see the rejection. So we got long candles right here. These are pin bars. These candles are breaking above, and as you can see, all of the highs from the all of the lows from the candles are getting higher and higher and higher. So I told myself, you know what? At that point, I kind of want to take a buy because I have a good area where I can hide my stop loss. All right, so let's go to the one minute time frame. And literally, this was my trade right here. Now, I wanted a rejection candle. Look how big my stop loss was. My stop loss was a four point stop loss, but I was taking it to the highs, um, to that white line. All right, so that's like a one to two. I'm not tripping over that. But um, the reason why I'm kind of mad is because this engulfing right here, I probably should have gotten as it broke the candle. I could have squeezed out a one to three, but that engulfing just caught me off guard and I kind of had like a fear of missing out. So I literally just got in. Um, this trade was definitely a winner. I believe I got in at the right time. I probably should have waited for this candlestick right here to happen. Right here, that little pin barish candle. Could have got a nice little one to three out, but um, I didn't do that. Uh, I'm not not too mad at that. I just had kind of a fear of missing out off of this ink and golfing candle. The one minute is very very dangerous. Okay, now let's go to the next trade um, that I took. So that was a winner. Now this second trade that I took. Let's go to the hour time frame. Let me zoom in just to make sure y'all can see. Now this hour time frame. As you can see, literally, let me just literally delete this and put it back. This is exactly what I did. Put a horizontal ray on the body of that candle. This was the resistance. And look at the hour candle. My trade, the trade that I took is up here. I'm gonna show you a video of this trade that I took. I didn't have a stop loss for this trade. I just told myself, I gave myself a mental stop loss because as you can see right here, this is a two point stop loss now with this two point stop loss this is two points above the resistance so this was just a clean overall trade this is why i respect sales let me just get forward with it so we like four minutes into it and the, the market's already dropping literally and I'm, I'm taking the candles like i'm literally taking this trade to a one to four okay boom and you seen how the you seen how the hour candle look that hour candle was literally crazy i was just excited that i was in that trade but in the process of me getting this big move i just caught a buy going up then i caught a sale going down i forgot what the overall game plan was i literally had my plan and i did not execute it because i lost track of the goal now let's just skip 
one, two, hold on, boom. That shot up right there. Now, at the beginning of the video, I literally said I want the market to literally shoot through that, come back to it, start to respect it like it's doing right there with the candles that I love the most, and then shoot up. And I didn't end up taking that trade. This is where I should have took my trade. The first trade was a one to three. This trade was a one to four. Let's see if I would have just took the trade right here. Stop loss would have been probably underneath that candle right there. Boom, that's another one to three. But the market ended up shooting. The market ended up market ended up going crazy. Just know it could have been um like a, a five thousand dollar day for me. But it's all good though. Um, because at the end of the day. I kind of did the things that I wanted to do. I wanted to sit in trades longer without exiting out. And I also wanted to trade more. So I took maybe three trade ideas. Um, and let me just go over this last trade I took. I wasn't able to take this trade right here. So I'm gonna get that off the screen because that gets me mad just thinking about it. But this is the trade that I took right here. Now, as soon as this market broke this high right here, as soon as that high was broken, I ended up getting into the trade. I had my stop loss um, underneath the low of that candle, and I was simply going for a one to two. And you can see that one to two literally got hit in the first um, couple minutes. As I got to the one to two, I, I moved my stop loss up into profit, and I also wanted to target this zone up here. Now, I ended up trailing my stop loss, but right there, it did end up getting smacked. Um, I was already kind of frustrated, like, I already missed this trade down here now i'm just trading around like 12 p.m i'm not even using a big lot like i was using so i was like really frustrated already so i didn't really care i just wanted to see myself trade like i was saying how i don't <laughs> like i was just saying about how i don't trade just to trade this was a trade just to trade because i was just so mad i should have just used some volume but um the trade did end up going up um that would have been tough right there because my stop loss would have gotten hit stop loss would have been in profit um, or at break even stop loss would have got hit then it shoots up for a one to seven so um at this point i was just over it to be honest literally um i smacked on a one two three or a one to two and then a one to three and then i could have had this monster trade for a one to seven but this trade didn't just go for a one to seven it literally those were the trades that i took um i hope i was clear with my breakdown if i wasn't put down in the comments what you didn't understand and in the next video i will go over it if the market gives me that same exact setup but um be sure to like share and of course subscribe hope you learned something and it's your boy flex man be sure to follow me on ig and check out the tiktok as well man but it's your boy and i'm gone